What is up guys, Austin Nurcho here. Today we're doing some more Marvel Legends and this time we've got the Avengers Infinity Wave 2 of Legends set. Of course we had to wait a while to try and get this. Um, where we usually get our stuff from, wasn't able to order this so then we had to go online and order. And so it took a while to get here so that's why we are doing this so late. But in this set, this is the build a figure for Cole Obsidian so you can kind of see parts of him right here and like a leg over here and an arm which is out of camera <laughs> over here and stuff. So we just got parts to build Cole Obsidian which of course was the big monster guy that was one of Thanos's Black Order people that you saw in the movie so the big giant guy that um, like was like Hulk size and stuff is who we're building today so in this set we start off with Thor here then we've got Black Widow and Ant-Man here which of course this is from Ant-Man and the Wasp which you can kind of see the logo down here for Ant-Man and the Wasp and so um, we'll see that in detail and stuff so that's from that movie which of course would have been fitting to have uh, for the movie that came out last week but um, we did that other or a week or two ago whatever but we did the other set instead then we go down to our next set here which has wasp here so we, we had ant-man now we've got wasp and you can see call obsidian's head right here and then the corner there then we go into some more comic book characters and we have malekith which was in the second thor movie thor the dark world he was the evil villain but obviously he did not look like this very much at all this is the comic version and then over here we have the black knight which is kind of cool so we're going to go ahead and open these and then of course as usual open them look at each one of them and then at the very end put Culp sitting all together as the build a figure and stuff so let's go ahead and get into them and so first up here we have thor of course this is from avengers infinity war so this is you know these characters are going to look exactly like they did in the movie or at least somewhat similar so first thing to notice here of course um so i did notice so this is probably thor which i believe it is obviously because of what i'm about to say um thor from when he comes back uh from i forget what he what they call it but where he went to get his new weapon made and had to go to the planet you know with the uh, giant peter dinklage dwarf guy that makes the weapons and everything and so this is him from when he came back so as you can see he's got his full cape here and everything where i believe wave i'm not sure if it's wave one or if it's just a special uh set that was also made or something where he has like the half torn cape and everything of course that's from uh ragnarok i guess which is what he would have looked like also but anyways um i guess i'm just getting all confused here so let's look up here so here of course is his face and i think these face do look pretty good um i don't think that does look you know somewhat like chris hemsworth i don't think it looks too different from him um but i think that looks really good but as you can see he does have his eye back so this is when you know um he I think Rocket gives him the eye, and so he puts it in and has his eye back, but it still has the scar. I can't get it any closer unless I do it sideways there. But you can see he's got a weird-looking eye and the scar on his face, of course, because he lost his eye in Ragnarok and now has it back because of Rocket giving him an eye. He stole off somebody. So here's Thor in the closest thing I could say this is this is his ultimate uh, suit, which I pretty sure you know the avengers has been mentioned stuff that all the movie mcu movies are based off the ultimate versions and so if thor just had a helmet on he'd look almost like this outfit would look almost exactly like the ultimates version of him so i think that's really cool that they did this design and everything but going in here so as you can see on his arms i believe it looks like you know metal armor going on there but it could just be a silver like under um shirt type thing you know that helped with uh bat on stuff that you know like knights and stuff you swear i don't know what it's called it i want to say you know it looks kind of like a chain mailish but not at the same time like so i don't know exactly what that material is but then we go from here now his cape as i mentioned earlier which i really like this cape like with this black design up here then going into the um red cape and i like this cape because it's actually attached onto him and so you don't have to worry about falling off then we go into a suit so of course he's got like this blackish dark gray suit going on here and then he's got the circles that i don't know what they're supposed to be but i know obviously his old suits always had these circles on him but i really like again that they threw those in there for his um outfit um on his hands he just has some like leather gauntlets that are all tied up and everything obviously to protect his wrists and everything going down into his pants then he's just got some leather pants on going into boots that ha of course has some knee pads here and then going into boots that have some like uh, shin guards on them and they have uh, like a goldish color to them like paint it onto him or something which adds some detail which i really like that so overall just like the design of this figure i really like like i said i like thor when he has his helmet on um but of course in the movies he doesn't wear the helmet especially in the newer ones or anything but so there we've got the thor of course i'm not going to go through this anymore but you know he is a guy so he has all the exact same moving parts and i believe nothing 
Uh, maybe his shoulder because of his outfit may be a little hard or could just be the shoulder itself um, Messed up and his hands look a little funny to me I don't know if like you can notice that really well But his hands do look a little misshapen like he's got like like this hand especially he's got like really fat hands or something So they kind of messed that up a little bit But of course since this is Thor once he arrives in Wakanda, you know to help in the battle um, against uh, Thanos's whatever the weird thing monsters were called um he comes back with his new weapon which again i can't remember what this called if it's Stormbreaker or Stormbringer, it's something like that but of course we have the axe that was forged by peter dinklage's character and then the um groots like grew out his hand or something and wrapped it around here to give it a handle and then of course it has this lightning around it that you can obviously take off if you don't want it but i just leave it on there and then you could put it in his hand and he's got his new weapon there the axe which of course again looks like the ultimates are more like a beta ray bills um axe which of course was a thor character for um a while and so that's really cool and i like that this it does seem really oversized but i think it works you know for thor and everything then of course we have call obsidian build of parts and so we have the left hand of him here so we've got that part just from his box says when the state of the universe is thrown into chaos thor sets out to protect earth and beyond so there's a little bit of information from the box there so that's gonna be it for thor then next up here we have black widow and so this is um a character uh as you can see by the face there does look to me pretty well like scarlett johansson i think they did a really good job getting that to look like very close to her like with a lot of these characters they don't look perfect obviously because that's really hard to do but to me like if you just like uh, gave someone that didn't you know watch Avengers or know anything about it um and just like and didn't know th that she played Black Widow just like held this up and be like what actor do you think this is I think they could guess who it is if they know the people but this is Black Widow of course I don't know I can't remember enough of the movie to remember when she was wearing this but I she probably wore it throughout the whole movie as far as I know but I really like remember this stuff being in when you first see her in the train station trying to protect um Vision and Scarlet Witch from the black order people and this is like this outfit's what that reminds me of. but again she could have wore it in the battle of wakanda as well but so here we have her face so now she's got the blonde hair which i don't know why they took away the blonde instead of the red you know scarlet or black widow sorry is known for having the red hair and everything so i don't know why they took that away obviously just for an actor or for scarlet johansson's um appearance i guess whatever so then going into her body so she's got this um, jacket on I would assume it's probably like a bulletproof jacket but you never know um, what kind of jacket could be going on there but I like you know they put all the details of it's got a neck clasp up here you know to close up the neck the zipper which is halfway down and then she's got some straps going on you know to help tighten the jacket up and everything then like it looks like a thing on the back here that she could probably store stuff in um, just you know I don't know what you do some sort of backpack type thing then her under outfit which of course you can't see under the cloak but to me just looking at this this really reminds me of her like classic outfit so like if you took this off and it had like a red spot on her I usually think it's on the front her little um I don't know weird shape design that it is for her like logo thing if that was on her stomach here or something like i said i can't remember where they put it exactly on the uh, comic book character this would look like it because it's an all black leather suit here um so of course that's what she wears and then it's got a bunch of these gray strap things so she's got straps around her arms and her um elbows there then on her belt she's got you know the gray strap you know with the belt buckle going in there and then the gray straps down onto her um leg holsters here that hold stuff you know and they're strapped on you know so they don't move around and everything so again it's just like her classic outfit with um designs added into it then of course here on the wrist she does have her uh, shooters again i don't know i you hardly ever see her sometimes she's a um like or uh shocks people with it sometimes she suits out i think like little gases or something um but you know in the comics she always has these and uh shoots a bunch of different stuff at them so she has those on her wrist i like that they threw it that in there as well and then going down into her legs she's got some knee pads on and then some high leather boots going on there and of course it's a female so i've mentioned in the past so for all females they have to give them a high heel um so they always have to do that and so that's it for scarlet Witch. so this is a female as usual so she has really thin joints and stuff so her arms are kind of weird but they're a lot better than what we'll see in a um, little bit here but i really like the look and design they really got all the details put into that so some of the accessories she come with so she does come with two fists so you can add two fists into her hand switch them out from the open hands if you want to um, then we've got her baton here, uh, or her baton, I 
think they call them batons. Um, but of course, that like she fights with, and I can't remember. Again, I can't remember all the details in the movie, but I assume these like collapse together, and then um, when she goes to fight, they extend out. So that's why all the silver pieces are like the extended out parts um, of it and everything, and they can collapse down. Then of course you can stick them together and turn it into like a bow staff that she can fight with and everything. So that's really cool, and I like that. So you can add those into both of her hands. And then she comes with these things, and I have absolutely no clue what they are. I thought, like my best guess, which I'm sure someone will know and tell me in the comments, uh, but I, my best guess was that they were these sticks, um, just, you know, supposed to be without the parts extended out. But you just take these and stick them into her uh, pockets down here. I don't know the exact direction you're supposed to put them in, but let's just kind of stick them down in here. I can get it in. And there we go. So I just stuck them in there. Again, I have no clue what they are, what weapons are supposed to be, unless they are supposed to be these sticks, you know, like all folded up or whatever. And so you can stick them down in there. So um, I like that she came with so many accessories. Again, I just don't know what those are. Then, of course, for our Call Obsidian piece, we have the main body here. So we have this giant piece of the body. Look, it like, compl like, completely covers her up. So we have the neck part here, the chest. So he has a piece of armor there for shoulder. And then, like, his... Uh, I, whatever part you call this, but like his uh, skirting Tiberia to cover up his um, lower parts here. And so it's like piece of metal with some, you know, like uh, cloth hanging down off of it. So we'll see that more, of course, at the end. But just from her box, it says an agent of espionage, an expert in hand to hand combat. Black Widow is trained to take out any enemy of justice. So there's a little information for her. So that's going to be it for Black Widow. And next up here, we have Ant Man, of course, the Scott Lang Ant Man from Ant Man and the Wasp. And so again, this is from Ant Man and the Wasp, as we saw on the front of the box there. His belt's all messed up. Um, and so this is Paul. Paul Rudd's character from the movie, so pull it up here so you can't see his face. This is one of the characters I don't like that much the way they did his face. I do think it does look like Paul Rudd, but I hate that weird smirk they made him do with like his mouth, and so it makes him look really weird. And so I don't really enjoy that part of it. Um, but here we have his, you know, normal outfit as we see him in, and it's very similar to what he wears in the comics now. Um, so of course there's his head and then we go down into the suit where it says all black and red suit as we saw in the ant-man um video we did a couple weeks ago and so he's got um again it's the red that goes all the way down through and then black undertone or like underneath it and everything um then he's got some metal on him so he's got metals up here around his head and neck area in there probably like some neck support and stuff going on in there uh then we go down we go into a belt which of course has his little butt or thing here you know where he pushes the button and he grows big or small whatever he does he's got some metal gauntlets going on there with leather gloves um it looks like also on his belly does have some little pockets and stuff maybe or that's just you know just the belt design in general could be um then going down into his legs here we go to his knee pads and boots um where he's got some you know red design going onto them there as well and i like the way it's designed and i like all the silver that runs out through so you can see you know the silver running down there and down his legs and everything i really like all the designs and everything in this again there's not much to go into him and you know just a plain basic character there's not a whole lot of detail to go into on him and he doesn't do a whole lot of different stuff but if you don't like this paul red face which i could probably understand why most people don't like i said i don't like the way it looks at all you can switch it out for the ant-man helmet here so you can actually make it you know the Ant-Man head instead of Paul Rudd's head, which I really like that they threw that in there so you could switch it out if you wanted to. And then for Call Obsidian, we have his leg here. So we have his left leg, a giant three-toed monster leg here with some metal on it there. And just from his box, is Scott Lang suits up as Ant-Man with a specialized suit engineered by Pym Technologies that lets him blast into any battle, big or small. And so there we got some stuff on Ant-Man. And next up here we have Wasp, again from Ant-Man and the Wasp. And this is the Hope Van Dyne character here. And so um, I really like the look of Wasp here. And especially in the movie, I really enjoyed her. She was um, a really good addition, I believe, into the movies and everything. But her body just here this the design is not good that's why i mentioned earlier about like scarlet witch whatever that her design is much better compared to um uh, wasp here so we'll go ahead and start with looking at her so here we have her face so she's the opposite of the paul red so um she's got her helmet on from the beginning so here is her wasp type helmet which i do think uh looks very more like wasp this i guess you could say i like the more of the point coming or the helmet coming to a point here on the front i really like that compared to ant-man you know that's just like flat that then has the attachment onto it for like the breather um but then she's got some clear goggles going on there which you can see some eyes in there so like there is 
a head under there. And then going on to the side, she has these two, you know, antennas that come out to the back, which are kind of bent up and everything. But that doesn't really make much of a difference. Then going into her suit, so she has, as you can kind of see, a dark blue and gold with some red details going into it and everything. So I really like those colors. So we have, of course, her backpack, which is an attachment I put on. Um, going on here, so it's her um, attachment with her wings in there which we can switch out here in a second um and then going into her suit show again i like this gold going down and then the dark blue but like this hand is all messed up unless there unless i can turn it around maybe that's what the issue was earlier with trying to get her straightened out from the box her hands was her arms were all twisted around and everything but that's the thing with these joints you know they're just one joint they can twist around and do all sorts of weird stuff um, but she's got um, some stuff here on her wrist. Of course, she shoots like little, you know, energy bolts or blasts or something out of her gauntlets here. So that's why she's got those on there. And then she doesn't have a belt or anything. But I assume she, since she's wasp, you know, all she does is shrink down. So she doesn't have to worry about going up or down. She just shrinks whenever she needs to. And that's probably built into her, ga um, her gauntlets as well. You know, maybe she just hits something in her hand and shrinks down. You know, like Ant-Man has the thing on the side of his finger there. Um, going it then down so again carrying out with the gold which again I like the color because usually a wasp is you know like a bee color so yellow and black or you know similar to that so I like that they did that then carried on the red so it goes down her arms obviously down her sides here and then down the legs as well all the way to the bottom where of course you know it just continues on with this um, dark blue color the navy blue down into her feet which her feet are kind of messed up I can't get her to stand very well um, but there on her feet there she does have little red dots for some reason but I like that as well so that's it for that version. So then we have some accessories, of course. So here we have her wings. So it's her backpack with actual wings. So, you know, you can pose the wings around however you want to do it, but they only go to a limited range. Like that's as far down as they go and everything. So that's kind of a pain, but you can still switch it out. So we'll flip her over here and then you just push it in the hole in the back. And now she's got wings and she can fly. She's like Peter Pan, she can fly. Um, so set that there. Then she does come with some hands. So if you want to do flat hands, so usually when she flies, you know, she does the flat hands out and everything. So you can switch those out as well. And then we've got a head of here. So we have Evangeline Lily's head here, which again, I don't think this looks like Evangeline Lily, but I do think it looks really good. I think, you know, that does look like a human and not some weird, like messed up person's face. And so I do think they did a really good job on the scalp. I just don't know if I could really tell that that's who that is, but you can obviously switch the head out and you can take the helmets off. So if you want it to be like um, Ant-Man, you can, you know, have them both without their helmets. And then for Call Obsidian, we have his head here. So his ugly looking face going on there and from the box says hope van dyne gears up with signature stingers and high-tech wings as the buzzworthy hero wasp and so that's going to be it for wasp the next up here we have i think it's malekith it could be malekith i don't know by the spelling it's kind of weird but the normal like pronunciation is malekith but you don't know with comic book characters stuff here and so this is the comic book version and as i mentioned earlier we did see the movie version in thor the dark world he was the main villain in that and so he's the leader of the dark elves and so that's what he is here a dark elf and so um i really like this comic book design i wish they would have done it more in the movie especially the hair which he did have the blonde hair it was just always back in like a ponytail or braids or something so you never really got to really see it but um so with this it reminds me a lot of two-face just because of his split colors and everything so you can see from his face here where it's half blue and half black which i tried to look up to see if there's a reason why because you know like low-key was a frost giant so he was blue but then because of like the spell or something he could do he could change you know to a human skin color and stuff so i didn't know if there was something related to that to malkith and he was special in that form or whatever but i couldn't find anything so it may just be how dark elves are where they're split but as you can see it splits you know right down his face so he's black on one side blue on the other side and then his armor is split you know this way down the middle it looks like the skirting oh it's just twisted i say it looks like it may be to the side um, but it's just twisted around you can always uh, join it and so we have dark red on this side lighter red on that side and then it kind of versus so we have black and white here so it just switches so a black and then white then we have the dark red and light red there and then on this side we've got the lighter red going in there and on this side we've got darker red except for up here where it's black so i feel this side should be white since that one's got the black but or if they just messed the paint up and that's supposed to be the dark red not really sure he does have a necklace on here a gold necklace there so he's got some bling going on uh then go down he's got gold gauntlets and then of course blue hands which i feel this you know hand should be black but you know just whatever they designed the character like 
Um, so then go down, he's got a belt here with some sort of like circle design going on to it, holding on this skirt again that switches, you know, half and half colors. He does have an extra belt on the top here that has some pouches. Again, I don't know. I assume you just push it to the side like that. It's got some sort of stuff in it he can use. And then go down his legs, match the arms. You know, it's got a dark leg and a light leg of red colors and then the inverse so it's got the light red stripe there and the dark red stripe down the legs there and here's from the back and so here is of course a closer look at his head again his beautiful luscious blonde hair he does have an elf ear here so of course since he is a dark elf they always got to give him the pointy elf ears so he's got that going on there and I really like that I like the look of the character it looks like the paint job could have been a little better in spots like on the skirt and everything and the switching of the reds um, they could have done a better job but I really like it as well um so he also comes with a weapon here so he has a sword so he has a big you know sword you can put in his hand so it's a giant so it's, i like this curve that it has at the top here then it's got of course the blade and then like serrated stuff on this side as well so it's just a nasty evil looking sword a giant sword he's got there then for our call obsidian we've got a couple parts so we've got the right hand of him here so he's got the right hand again with the metal on his arm and then he also comes with his weapon, his giant like hammer or axe, which you, I'm pretty sure in the movie was like longer. So this, you know, supposed to be maybe like extend out or something, but it doesn't. So it's just this, and I don't even know how you really even fit this into his hand. Maybe it goes in his other hand or something as well. But there's for Call of City, and just from his box says the ruler of the Dark Elves of Svartalheim, Malekith the Accursed, uses dark magic to bring vengeful destruction to the universe. So there's a little bit of information on him there, and that's gonna be it for Malekith. And our last character here is the Black Knight. So this is a cool looking character and I really like this. And of course we played the or been playing the Lego Marvel Super game and we've you know come across the Black Knight and stuff, so that's cool that we've got this going on here. So here we have the Black Knight. So of course it does look like a knight here and he's in all you know dark colored stuff, so that's obviously why he's called the Black Knight. So let's look at his helmet up here. So it looks cool. So he's got like you know a normal looking knight helmet here, so it's got the gold and then like a dark I believe this is like again a navy blue color. But I believe it would have been better if it was black. Um, but you never know. It could be black. And it's just their color of paint going on here. But um, I really like the design stuff. So all the little details you, they put into it with the jagged and stuff. He's got the like horn going on here. so Or like the mohawk almost looking type design there. I like the wings going off the side here. I really like that. You know, look like giant wings coming off the side of his helmet. I really like that design going in there. Then going down from there, we go into, we'll do his cape, I guess, next, since that's next. And again, this is a cape that's not attached, so it just easily falls off and everything, which I don't like. But we've got the blue, or the gold class here, and then the blue cape, which I really like that blue color that they did for the cape there. Then go down, so again, he has, like, the chainmail design I was talking about on Thor, but again, I don't know if that's what Thor had or not. But he's got, like, the chainmail design there on his arms on both sides and then down his legs as well. So he's um, very well protected for battle and stuff, you know, to try and deflect uh, um, sword or blades from swords and stuff from hitting him and chopping him up and everything then go down so he has a like a uh, shirt going on here again it's uh, to show like his like house look or whatever that knights wearing stuff so he's got some sort of like eagle or something going on there with the red so that goes down into his belt which he's got some pockets and a, um, a sheath go or a holster type thing here for his sword. And so just all sorts of pockets going around there. Then he has a piece of cloth that hangs down in the front there. Again, going down his legs into his boots, leather boots that match the same as the rest of his outfit. And then his gloves as well that match those. So he's got leather gloves there with the red stripes on the outside. They're going on there as well. And so that's pretty much it. He doesn't have anything on his back. Just another piece, you know, of leather, leather or cloth hanging down there. It's hard to, you know, try and keep his cape on him as well. So we've got that. Then he does come with a sword. So he has this sword here, which I, again, um, so this is an actual black. Like, out compared to the thing, this outfit looks much more blue. Where this looks like pure black, the blade here. But it is been up as you can see it's all twisted stuff or um curved and everything so i'll we'll have to flatten that out then it's got a gold handle here which looks really nice i like this design here for the hilt and everything going down there which you can obviously then slide into there and so now he's got his sword on him um then he does also come with other helmets so the interesting thing about black knight so there's been three black knights throughout the years so i looked this up because i knew there was something going on and i wanted to try and get it of course i probably won't know for sure so the very first black knight so there have been two good black knights and one evil one so the current one which i believe is this guy here is the a good one um but then the very first one sir percy which was an actual knight you know back in like the old england days and medieval times and stuff um he was a good guy his name was sir percy and i want to say this was his helmet but also the second version also wore a, a helmet similar to this as well 
But as you can see, it's like a very classic looking knight helmet, like an old, very old school. It almost looks like a bucket, you know, with holes cut in it. But it's got the gold design going on there, and I like the point it comes down to in the front here. And then it's got a golden eagle there on the helmet as well, which I like that design. Of course, it's very flimsy and stuff, plastic there. But I like that design there as well. Then the second form, which was Nathan Garrett, which was the uncle of the current guy. Um, I don't know which helmet he used because I've tried to like look to see if you know, oh maybe that's, you know, Sir Percy, this one's Garrett, and then this one's the current guy that um, Dan, or I can't remember, Dane something, I can't remember his last name though, the current guy, but again it's his um, nephew of um, Nathan Garrett, and I thought, you know, this is Nathan Garrett and stuff, but the current guy wears a helmet pretty much like this most of the time but then it's also shown him with this helmet here with the wings as well so it's hard to tell but here's the other helmet here so it looks pretty you know pretty similar to the other one he's wearing just without the wings and stuff so there it's got an angry looking face so you know that could be you know the evil one there since he's making that um, angry face there and so I know my brother which of course all these Marvel Legends are his he bought um, two more black knights so he can have one of each guy and everything which uh, I really like that scene you know there and being all the black different black knight characters and everything then for Call of City we got our last piece which is the right leg so we now have all of that so we can now build him after we're done with this and from his box says an expert horseman and superior swordsman black knight has a checkered history as a powerful combatant with no clear allegiance so again that's playing in you know that he's been good and he's been bad so of course in different forms and everything so that's why they threw all that in there so that's going to be it for the black knight and so now we've got all of our call obsidian pieces here so let's go ahead and put it together and so here he is all put together now which i think looks really cool and so we have his um weapon here which i guess goes in this hand because it's um wide open or the hand is more open so i guess i can try and fit this in there maybe not right now because it's feeling kind of hard to get in there so we have his giant axe thing there but here he is all put together and he is pretty big so again he's like would be like a hulk size figure and especially if you saw the movie stuff you saw that um so some of the stuff going on here so of course we've already seen all parts so here we have his head up here so you can see his head right there again going down into his body and he's all like weird design and everything you can see all the different he's like a reptile almost as and then he's got a bunch of like metal parts going onto him as well there and his feet and everything but he's got five fingers so it's where he's got three toes but five fingers still and everything and he's got some weird knuckles there with some points and jagged points going onto him as you can see there um so he just looks really cool i don't like this part of it this like um shoulder armor here because the front like if you move his arm a certain way it only sticks in and then it just pops right out and so you have to like keep his arm in a like a very low down position for it to be able to stay on his arm or to stay in and everything so of course we saw in the movie he did lose a hand and he got a um, when we saw him again like Doctor Strange cut his hand off with his little portal things that Doctor Strange does um, and we when we saw him in the battle later on he had a metal hand and so they didn't do that but he does you know have the metal parts all over his body his armor um, so I wish that'd be cool if they would have added that in there as well the metal hand but they didn't then of course as I said his weapon going on here and he's ginormous so just for some size comparison I brought the Thor over so you can see the size comparison so they're about yeah flat there and so you can see the yeah different size that there is you know going on up here between the two characters so you can see how big he is and that's another reason why I like these build figures so much because you get much bigger figures that way without having to you know, pay an extra price or whatever except for you know having to buy all the characters without paying after more than you would for just a normal character like this. And so that's going to be it for this Avengers Infinity War Wave 2 with the build a figure of Call of City and set. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which character is your favorite out of this entire set or which character you think has the best design whatever you want to tell me about any of the characters and don't forget to subscribe to see more of our videos and we will see you next time